What the hell? Uh, Jesus Christ. Das war wohl Glück im Unglück. Jesus. Ja, und schon wieder runter. Vom Oh yeah. Also, durchsuchen wir den mal. Tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh man. Shit. Time to go. Ich weiß zwar nicht, wie er da jetzt rüberkommen soll, nachdem er da runtergesprungen ist. Oh, hey! Ist alles easy. Easy, Alter. Was ist da los? Ähm, okay, Vernons... Sch also, Logans Schrank war hier. Logan. Gucken wir gleich mal rein. Okay, wir haben alles, was wir brauchen, denke ich. Schauen wir uns einfach mal die ganzen Tapes an. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Ach, du blöde Kuh. No. No. Ja, so wie es aussieht, war das der ausschlaggebende Punkt. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <lacht> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds from me. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Mm -hmm. Ich gebe mein Bestes. So, wir schauen uns jetzt noch mal das letzte Tape an, um herauszufinden, was hier passiert ist. Irgendwas muss auf dem letzten Band noch zu sehen sein. Na, super. Und da hat er es auch noch aufgenommen, die Drecksau. Ich muss einen Stopp in dieser kleinen Arrangement setzen. Das ist das letzte, was ich Ihnen geben kann. Warum? Oberson hatte jemanden da hier gestern Abend in die Inventory. Er ist wirklich krachend. Ich kann es nicht riskieren. Wir hatten einen Deal. Ja, wir hatten einen Deal. Wir haben es nicht mehr. Meine Schwester braucht diese Medizin. Ohne sie wird sie sterben. Oder sie wird sie zu zeigen Symptome und sie werden sie wegnehmen. Ich kann das nicht lassen. Ich bin sorry, Molly. Ich habe alles getan, aber ich muss mich auf mich selbst schauen. 
Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Okay, jetzt kann ich verstehen, warum sie so auf die eingedroschen hat. Ach du Scheiße. Dammit. Oh mein Gott. Hier geht's zum Klassenzimmer. Jesus Christ! Boah, scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Einfach in die Hosentasche gesteckt. Was ist das? Nichts. Du kannst mit dem Ag Molly aufhören. Ich weiß, du bist aus Crawford. Was? Wer hat dir das gesagt? Ich sah dich auf einer Sicherheitstape. Warum hast du mir gelogen? Ich sagte, es gab Geschichten über Crawford. Ich habe nie gesagt, dass ich es wusste. Ich habe dir nie gelogen. Und selbst wenn ich es so was, ich habe dir nichts gegeben. Du hast mich zweimal gelogen, aber du kannst mir nicht sagen, die Wahrheit sagen. Sind wir wirklich das jetzt machen? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. And by Crawford's mm. rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Um, wo ist das Beil in der Tür? Jesus! Chip! Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. We're okay. Did you get that door open in the classroom? Not Warum yet. Kenny sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Shit! Die alte geht ganz schön steil. Lee, shoot this fucker! Puh, Jesus. Nice shot. Thank me later. Come on. Ben, we gotta go. Ben, move your ass. <lacht> oh man. What the fuck also, is going on? Ey, er klammert sich an dem scheiß Bann, oh, äh, Beil fest. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, 
We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty! Lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck, you little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Free! Now can we go? Damn right! Vernon, come on! Ja, das war natürlich ja sensationell schon wieder. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh, bad idea. Close the door. Fuck! Shit. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look! Oh my god. Jetzt wird's nochmal richtig krass, Leute. Jetzt müssen wir nochmal richtig auf die Schnauze hauen. Oh mein Gott. Oh nein, Alter! Komm schon schneller! Komm schon raus damit! Bam! Oh fuck it! Oh my god, no! Oh, danke! Christa! Okay, jetzt müssen wir uns den Weg freikämpfen. Ist halt nun mal so. Flitz! Du Ratte! Verpiss dich, du Drecksau! Tschüss! In your face, bitch! Bam! Du Ratte! Und noch einmal! Bam! Oh! Okay, cool. <lacht> Sensationell. Come on. Nice kiss, Rick, bro. Are we out of here? <lacht> This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Ah, the 
Alles klar. Komm her. Climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get the others out of here. Lee. Ich kann den nicht einfach sterben lassen. We both know. Let me go. Hoch mit dir, du Ratte. So einfach lass dich nicht davon kommen, du Bastard. Why? Go, go, go! Omid? Clementine! Clementine! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? When one of those things got inside, it tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Oh, me. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? Oh, the part gets wieder ewig. Ich glaube, die Stunde haben wir schon fast geknackt, ey. Everything okay? Oh, me! Clementine, when did you last check on him? Like an hour ago? He was awake then. He was fine. Is he... I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! <laughs> hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. <laughs> you okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, 
and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? No, man. Be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've <clears throat> more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Verständlich, oder? Also ich würde das Kind auch nicht irgendwo hinschicken. Ich meine, ich kenne sie jetzt mittlerweile, ja. Das sind auch gute Menschen, keine Frage. Aber Clementine würde sich wahrscheinlich hin und her geschoben fühlen und das würde ich auch als Vater nicht zulassen. Ich würde sie lieber bei mir haben wollen. Ist einfach so. Hey, go on somewhere? Was ihr davon haltet, schreibt es mir in die Comments. Ja, yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <lacht> ja, die ist schon ziemlich hart. Boah, Alter. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Damn, honey. What's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Clementine? Oh. Clementine? Kind of, huh?
Clementine? Clementine! Oh Gott. Ich muss es jetzt so durchziehen, weil das Kapitel geht nicht mehr lange. Es wird ein ziemlich krass langer Part und es tut mir auch wirklich leid. Aber das muss jetzt einfach sein. Ich gucke mir erstmal diesen Müllhaufen an. What the fuck? Äh. Okay. Nice. Ein, Schiz oh. Ein krasser Schicksalsschlag. In dieser Geschichte. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? Und jetzt wird's interessant. In Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? Jetzt wird sich gleich zeigen was meine Antworten und zu wem ich gehalten habe, wer jetzt wirklich auf meiner Seite steht. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Ich brauche die Hilfe, um sie zu finden. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help, all of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. Ich brauche hier die Hilfe. I appreciate it. Really. Die zwei sind schon mal mit uns. Kenny. You've always been there for me, Lee. Du bist immer für mich da gewesen. Ich kann mich auf dich verlassen, wenn es darauf ankommt. What kind of if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Danke, Mann. Yes! Kenny ist dabei. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? Ja. Da habe ich irgendwo wohl eine falsche Entscheidung getroffen, weil ich weiß, dass man alle mitnehmen kann. Aber hätte ich jetzt Ben mitgenommen, wäre Kane nicht mitgegangen und das kann ich einfach nicht, das kann ich nicht verantworten, das geht nicht. Ich brauche ihn. Auch weil es mein bester Freund ist und ich kenne ihn einfach schon am längsten. Äh. Die haben sich aus dem Staub gemacht. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt.
Oh oh. Jetzt schwärmt mir langsam, dass mir noch nie gekommen, warum er auf den Zug angesprochen hat. Ich glaube, das war der Knackpunkt. Wir haben zu viele mit angelockt. Oh shit. Clementine, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. We must have Bruce Willis art. Oh, Jesus. Das war Episode 5. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Ich weiß, der Part ist echt krass lang, aber es lohnt sich. So, jetzt werden wir noch kurz die Auswertung machen und dann geht es wahrscheinlich erstmal nicht mehr weiter. Aber wer auf jeden Fall wissen will, wie es weitergeht, der bleibt auf jeden Fall dran. Jetzt kümmern wir uns mal erstmal hierzu, weil sonst ziehen wir es unnötig in die Länge. Äh, der Junge auf dem Dachboden. Hast du den Jungen auf dem Dachboden? Du und 25% der Spieler haben ihn nicht getötet. Ja, das ist vollkommen... Klar, weil ich wollte Kenny darüber hinweghelfen, keine Ahnung. Äh, Hypokratischer Eid. Hast du Vernon belogen oder bedroht? Du und 33% der Spieler ihn angelogen oder bedroht. Ja, ich habe ihn bedroht, aber nicht belogen. Ne? Muss man jetzt mal dazu sagen. So, allein zu Haus. Hast du Clementine mitgenommen? Du und 26% der Spieler sie im Haus gelassen. Echt? So viele haben sie mitgenommen, obwohl es so gefährlich ist. Alles klar. Wem die Stunde schlägt? Hast du Ben in den Tod stürzen lassen? Du und 66% der Spieler ihn aufs Dach gezogen. Ja, habe ich. Und ich weiß auch warum, weil ich ihn nicht sterben lassen wollte. Ja, zeigen des Bisses. Hast du der Gruppe den Biss gezeigt? Du und 80% der Spieler den Biss gezeigt. Da merkt man auch wieder, ehrlich wert am längsten. Und deswegen, ich denke mal, deswegen haben es auch so viele gemacht. Weil sonst hätten wir es niemals geschafft. Also, 13% haben es geschafft, dass vier mitgehen. Was? Echt? 10% haben nur Ben... Wow, was haben die alles für Scheiße gebaut? 12% Ben und Kenny. Ja, nur 16% haben wirklich alle mitgenommen. Das ist eigentlich schon ziemlich krass, oder? Ich war mal bei den 14% da unten mit, und mit Christa und Ben, weil Kenny ist nie mitgegangen. Weil ich immer versucht habe, diplomatisch zu verhandeln und musste so oft Kenny in den Rücken fallen deswegen und deswegen habe ich mich manchmal auch wie ein Arschloch äh, äh, ja, entschieden, weil ich einfach wollte, dass Kenny mitkommt. Ist einfach so. So, das war's mit Episode 5. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Ähm, lasst mir auf jeden Fall einen Daumen und einen Kommentar da, ob es euch gefallen hat, wie ihr euch vielleicht entschieden hättet an eurer Stelle oder wenn ihr in meiner Situation gewesen wärt, wie es vielleicht in Real Life gelaufen wäre. Ich bin mega gespannt darauf, was ihr sagen würdet. Und wie schon gesagt, vergesst nicht auf meinem Main Channel vorbei, vorbeizuschauen. Beim Tauli, beim x Boost, Enix Shizu. Ich weiß, ich habe es schon ziemlich oft gesagt, aber die sind echt empfehlenswert. Schaut einfach mal rein. Tja, und wie schon gesagt, ich bedanke mich herzlich fürs Zuschauen. Ich bin euer Avenger, wie immer. Und ich freue mich schon auf die nächste Episode. In diesem Sinne, bis dahin. Servus.